What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Still Life. We were uh, playing as her grandfather, if I'm not mistaken. Let's talk to this guy. What do you got to say to me? Kazimir Stasek. He's been a good source of info on a couple of minor cases I had here in the city. Hello, my friend. Ah, Mr. McPherson. And how are you this dark evening? I can't complain. And how's my favorite boy in blue? Besides my eye and this horrible murder, everything's fine. What's wrong with your eye? How'd you get the shiner? Shiner? Your black eye. How'd you get it? Oh, uh, I arrested a man last night, and for some reason my eye hit this man's very large fist. Ah. Did you get sucker punched? Well, a little. My partner didn't have time to warn me. Everything happened so fast. I was helping the woman, and I turned around to see if my partner was okay, and wham! Next thing I knew, I was flat-faced on the sidewalk. That kind of sucks, bro. And what did the man do to deserve your undivided attention? He was harassing a young woman. So I asked him to stop, and then things got out of hand. The police are trying to find this animal. We're a little nervous when a man harasses a young woman these days. That's understandable. Makes sense, yeah. I imagine you don't have anything more to give me? This time I'm afraid I have nothing for you, my friend. Everyone is more or less at a loss. You don't mind if I ask you a couple of questions anyway? Of course not. How long has this been going on? It yeah. started about three weeks ago. You didn't hear about it until now? Nope. No, I wasn't in town. I just got back. I was working a case outside the city. Someone called me to see if I could come back and help. Ah, the very beautiful Miss Ida Skalikova, I presume. Good guess. She's worried for her friends. I told her I'd see what I could do. Good man. Can you tell me about your new boss? Inspector Yuri Skalnik. He was given the case and got temporarily assigned to this district. He has a good reputation, but he doesn't share much information with us. He keeps to himself a lot. What? He doesn't trust you? Honestly, I don't know. Maybe he thinks we're incompetent or something. Maybe he did it, maybe. But he'd be stupid to think so. Why, thank you, my friend. Alright, stop hitting on the police officer, sir. Were all the victims' bodies dumped? Yeah, I believe so. But then again, I don't have much information, as I said earlier. Hmm. Was there ever an eyewitness? Nope. Never. Damn. That's what bothered case me just kind of fucked up. How was the killer getting around the city without being seen? Well, I should leave you to your work, and I have to see my client. Thanks for your input. It's kind You're of welcome. odd. Be careful. We'll do. We'll be careful. Good day, sir. Oh yeah, we can double click to run faster. I always forget. Hello, ma'am. Ma'am. Please get away from that. That is government property. My Ida. The best gams in all of Eastern Europe. She's my angel and the love of my life. I met her on a small case I was working. She used to dance in the neighborhood cabaret. She was involved with the married man I was following. It was love at first sight. Hey, look at you all dolled up. Hi, sweetheart. I don't like it when you call me that. I Aww. didn't call you a doll. I said that you were... Never mind, I'm sorry. Good. Now have you talked to that <laughs> useless inspector? Yes, I have. And I didn't get much from the meeting. Are you going to help us? Of course I will. Was there really any doubt? No, but you never know. She's a blonde. You have to forgive her, you know. She's kind of... Duh. When do you want to settle this? Now or later? No, I don't want money, Ida. Nonsense. You will accept our money. How much do you charge? Okay, listen. We'll settle this after the case, alright? Do you promise? Because we'll feel insulted if you don't accept our money. Give me something else. Take money off these women? That's the last thing I wanted to do. I know yes, what you I could promise. give me. I will charge you at the end of the case. Yeah, right. It could be something, you know, along this area. With your mouth. Or your, uh... You know what? Never mind. Anyway. What was her name? <laughs> Who? The victim's name? Oh, her name was Frantiska. Frantiska? Were you close to her? Not as much as Milena, but yes, I knew her. 
Did you, you ever talk about a regular client or someone special? Not that I know of. Do you think mm. Milena can answer a few questions? I guess. Let me ask her. Milena? Yes? This is my friend, the one I told you about. He's here to help us catch the man responsible. Do you think he can ask you some questions about Francisca? Okay. I'll wait for you up the stairs, okay? Okay. I'll see you in a bit. Is she like a coke head or something? Or is she just sniffling up tears? I can't determine. My name's Gus McPherson. I'm here to help stop this from ever happening again. I thank you, sir. Not a lot of people would help women like us. Oh, okay. Do you mind if I ask you a few She's questions? She's just sad. Oh. No, that's fine. How long have you known Francisca? Well, I've known her for a long time. We met in the orphanage when we were just little girls. Her uh, parents had died in a terrible accident. We became very close. We both left the orphanage never to return. Pretty funny she's like sniffed. Ever since we left, we tried to survive in the streets, even changing cities. But we kept coming back here. Why? Did she ever talk about someone new or Why special? Why would you come back here? No. It was not her style. Francisca would rarely take new clients. She had regulars and enough to allow her to survive. She would only take complete strangers if she absolutely needed to. Apollina is more like that. She always has a new rich client. Hmm. Did she ever have a client that had been violent with her? No. She only had clients she trusted. How about you? Have you had any trouble with any of your clients? No, I'm like Francisca. I have only regular clients. If I'm on the streets, it's because I'm keeping my friends company. Were you close to any of the other victims? Well, there is one that was a common friend to Francisca and me. Her name was Anezka. No one's found her. She just disappeared one day. We honestly don't know what happened to her. And I knew the others only on a professional level. Did Anezka ever complain about any clients before she disappeared? Or did she ever talk about leaving? Well, we all talk about leaving. Who wants to live their life like this? And she never complained about anything. Anezka was like Apollina. She took on many clients. She left town a lot, but always came back with a broken heart. I hope she did find someone and left this place. Where can I find this Apollina? She usually works the park. Rare are the girls who are allowed to enter it. She's very protective of her territory. That's what she calls it anyway. Francisca and me were allowed in because Apollina knew we didn't take strangers and pretty much had our own regulars. Anezka was Apollina's good friend, so she was allowed to. So we all kept each other company in the park. Maybe Apollina knows where Anezka is. I don't know. Well, thank you for answering my questions. It was a pleasure to meet you, even under these unfortunate circumstances. Well, it was nice to meet you, Mr. McPherson. I thank you for trying to help us. I like trying. you more than that woman up I there with the blonde hair. Yet. If I have any more questions, how may I contact you? I'm usually in the park. Again, thank you. Alright. Be careful, don't fall in the water. Run! It is an angel dips. on earth. She's the sweetest person I've ever met. I truly believe she doesn't have an angry bone in her body, even with the difficult childhood she had. I can put her an angry bone in her body. Her her on a regular basis. Hint, hint. Ida is always wink, positive, wink. and she's always willing to help the people who surround her. That's why she hired me to try and help. She has an undying optimism about life in general, and I love her for it. Hey. How is she? She's okay, I guess, under the circumstances. I'll go talk to her after. You do that. How have you been? I mean, are you feeling better? Yes, a little. It's not as bad as when you left for your case. Tell me, where can I find Emil Corona? Who's he? 
He's the coroner working the case. I need to ask him a few questions. Skalnik said he worked in an old chapel. Do you know where it is? Yes, I'll mark it on a map. I don't need a map. Just tell me where it is. What is it with men in directions? Take this map, it'll help you. Good. I will I take that map. I mark the location map. of the old chapel. It's not far from here. Okay. Thanks, sweetheart. Did you go see the doctor? No. Ida, go see him. It might be serious. I'm no doctor, but throwing up every day is not normal. Go see him. <gasps> She's pregnant. Okay, okay. I'll go see him. I don't throw up every day, you know. You always exaggerate. Yes, okay. But go see him as soon as possible. She's pregnant. Okay. I have to see this corona. I think that's what I it want is. You to stay off the streets as much as possible. Never walk around alone. Yes, I know you've told me a hundred times. I am careful. Okay, I'll ease up on you. You be careful. I will. Now go. So much for easing up on her. You're basically just bugging the shit out of her. Alright. So, we need to go... Um, yeah. Sure. Old Chapel Park. Let's go to the old chapel. He said he needed to speak to the coroner. What are you doing here? Why aren't you at your post? Well, you told me to. Never mind. You have any news at least? Yeah. The American is talking to the girl's boss. So, he thinks he can move in on my women, huh? Well, my friend, if you ever see him, you may explain things to him. Uh, explain what? Use that brute force of yours, you idiot! Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, boss. I truly oh God. miss your brother. He was the smart one. Yeah, I miss him too. Why can't we get him out? Because I'd probably get arrested too, you moron! That's all Skalnik wants, anyways. I have a feeling he will blame me for all these murders. Why am I telling you this? Go back to your post. You see the American? You can rough him up. Okay, boss. I better steer clear of the big guy. The scrawny looking guy was probably Odokar Kubina. Who can forget that name? Anyways, he was the pimp of the neighborhood. He worked out of this little lingerie shop, which acted as a front, of course. He owned a couple of joints in the district, including the cabaret where Ida used to work. I think he never forgave me for stealing Ida from that dive. I better straighten things out with him later. I have other things to do. Okay. I don't want the big man to punch me in the eye. Got another location. Wait, the old chapel. There was nothing there, was there? The fuck? <gasps> Kitty! You're bad luck if I cross paths with you. Don't let that happen. What's this? In nomine Patris, si filii, Spiritus Sancti. Oh, he said a prayer. That could be controversial. This place had the metallic smell of blood and the stench of rotting flesh. This old chapel had been converted into an autopsy room. Now blood dyed its floor. Hello, Mr. Corona. My name's Gus McPherson. I'm a detective that was hired to help my client. Hello? Sir? Hello? Huh? What the... What are you doing here? I thought I'd lock the door. Where is my cone? Where is my ice cream cone? What are you trying to do? Give me a heart attack? Uh, sorry, Mr. Corona. Who are you and how do you know my name? Like I said earlier, I'm Detective McPherson. Inspector Skalnik told me that I could ask you a few questions. If Skalnik says it's okay, then it's okay. Good. What happened to your hearing, if you don't mind my asking? It happened in the Great War. I was a medical aide. I would get the wounded from the trenches to the temporary hospital. One day we saw a wounded soldier in no man's land. We rushed to him and a mortar shell exploded on my partner. I survived, but with hardly any hearing left. Damn. So that's where you got your experience? Yeah, mostly. 
Ironically, the war ended three weeks after the shell exploded. That kind of blows. Hint, hint, ha ha. Can you walk me through your observations of this victim? Okay. Ah, the cause of death is like the others. The cut to the throat. It can't be the multiple stab wounds or the evisceration itself? No, I'm pretty sure of that. What makes you so sure? The one before her. The one we found in the park. She was killed in the same spot she was found. It was clear that it was the wound to her throat that killed her. The rest was probably done after. And how did you come to that conclusion? Because not much blood was coming from the other wounds. The heart was still beating when the throat was cut. I could tell by the amount of blood that had poured from the throat wound. So you weren't sure about the cause of death until you saw the victim in the park? Well, I had my doubts, but when I saw her, yes, she made things more clear. Hmm. And the same killer would use the same brutal techniques? Precisely. Does the victim in the park have any other differences from the rest of the victims? You have to wonder yes, what goes the through cut to her neck the indicates mind. an attack from behind. The rest, including this one, were attacked from the front. If only I had the other body, I could show you the difference. That's okay. Really, I trust your judgment. What I was saying was, you have to wonder what goes through the mind of a killer when doing things. Like, it's just weird. Like, you see it on TV and everything else. It's just crazy. And then autopsy's got to be even crazier. Like, how do you get in that profession? You like dead bodies or something? Like, you fucking... You, fucking, you don't have the body, but maybe you have a file on the victim from the park? Sure. The man who was supposed to come and get the file never showed up. What man? Skalnik's errand boy. He comes to get the files I make for each victim. He still hasn't come to get the one from the park. Ah, I see. Well, I'll take Inspector Scalic file, if you don't mind. No, I don't really care. <laughs> Good. Where do you keep your files? In my safe over there. I can never remember my combination, so I wrote it on a piece of paper. You know, I think I lost it somewhere. Oh, no. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. That was a fucking piece of paper. Now what am I supposed to do? Do you know the paper? Oh, it's going to take, like years to sit down. There you go. Good job. Not a pretty sight. Poor doll. She never saw it coming. Damn. In every body, there's a puzzle waiting to be solved. Anything? How do you lose paper, bro? I hate this part of my job. It's in the desk? What's over here? How the fuck do you lose the paper? These were installed recently. Go over there. Maybe it's over here. Ah. Seven four eight two one. Okay. There's a safe somewhere. But where's the safe? Where's the safe? It keeps it in the safe. So it keeps it in the safe. 